In the blackest hours of night, while most creatures sleep, a silent shadow glides just above the Earth's surface. It's small, barely the size of a human hand, and yet it's one of the most disturbing predators ever documented. This is Desmodus rotundus, the common vampire bat. But what if we told you this blood-sucking creature doesn't just drink from its victims, it injects a venom so sophisticated it can disable pain, halt blood clotting, and render an animal defenseless while it feeds. And scientists have just discovered it works on humans too. Found across Mexico, Central, and South America, vampire bats have long been feared for their creepy habits. But the truth is even stranger than legend. Unlike mosquitoes or leeches, the vampire bat doesn't stab and slurp, it surgically slices. With specialized heat sensors in its nose, it detects exactly where blood flows beneath the skin. Then it uses razor-sharp teeth, so fine you won't feel the bite, to make a clean incision. No blood spurts, no pain, just a slow, uninterrupted flow. How is this possible? Inside its saliva is a chemical cocktail evolved over millions of years. One component, draculin, prevents blood from clotting. But in 2023, researchers isolated another compound that stunned the medical world, a venom that mimics stroke-related proteins, shutting down nerve signals. This means pain receptors are temporarily paralyzed. A cow, pig, or human would never know it had been bitten. The bat then laps up the blood, not with fangs, but with its tongue. It can drink for up to 30 minutes, consuming more than half its body weight and blood. And because of the anesthetic venom, the host remains unaware, calm, and motionless. It is one of the most ethically eerie predation tactics in the animal kingdom, feeding without alerting or harming, yet still violating the body in a profoundly chilling way. But this story doesn't stop with nature's horror. Scientists are now repurposing vampire bat venom to develop new stroke and blood pressure drugs. Imagine, the same compound that lets a bat feed in the night might one day save your life. Already, synthetic versions of Draculin are showing promise in improving blood flow in patients recovering from heart attacks or neurological trauma. A creature long thought monstrous may be medicine's next miracle. And their intelligence? Alarming. Vampire bats are one of the few non-human animals known to share food altruistically. If one fails to find a host, another may regurgitate blood into its mouth. They remember past donors and will repay the favor in the future. This means they have not just social bonds, but a form of reciprocal memory and empathy. But this empathy does not extend to their prey. On farms in South America, bats have been observed feeding from the same wound night after night. In rare cases, infected bats have transmitted rabies to livestock and occasionally humans. In one haunting event in Peru, 12 children died following a mass bat attack. Health authorities now routinely vaccinate in rural areas where colonies thrive in abandoned buildings and caves. Yet even as fear lingers, the deeper story of the vampire bat is far more nuanced. A biochemical genius, a social strategist, and a quiet evolutionary marvel. It is both predator and healer, horror and hope. So next time you imagine monsters lurking in the dark, remember, some of them are real, and they might already be inside you, venom coursing through your veins, and you'd never even know it.